New tonight, quite the story, a former Blunt football player reunited with his high school championship rings. Yeah, Hygel Harris says he lost the two rings years ago after both slipped off his fingers during a Mardi Gras parade. Well, last week, a unique discovery led to a very special reunion. Our Ariel Mallory is in the studio with that story, and Ariel... I bet this was an emotional moment for the guys. Yeah, it was, Lenny Byron. You know, Harris didn't think he'd ever see his championship rings again, but that all changed last week when he got an unexpected phone call from someone he never met. It was like I want them again. Yeah, it was like I want them again, and, and he was presenting them to me uh, to wear them. Tonight, a heartfelt reunion, a prized possession thought to be lost forever, is now back in the hands of its owner. Six years ago, Hygel Harris says he was riding on a Mardi Gras float in downtown Mobile when two of his blunt championship rings went missing. After I got home, after the parades and stuff, I started looking everywhere and could never find them. So, and I just had never found them. For me, the hard work that I put in for them, uh, they meant a lot to me. Harris says he got the rings when Blunt won two state championships in 1990 and again in 1992. He says he was devastated losing something so sentimental. But last week, Harris got an interesting message from a stranger saying they found something he might want. I was feeling on my pockets. I'm like, well, did I lose my wallet? So I'm like, I haven't lost anything. So and I'm like, well, why would they, they be calling me? Come to find out, it was Jamie Malone calling to tell Harris he found his rings in the exact same spot six years later. I was sitting at home and uh, decided I just wanted to go do a little metal detecting. And so got a signal on the ground and uh, bent down, dug, dug it up, and there was one ring and dug a little deeper and there was a second ring. After seeing the engraving on the rings, Malone was determined to return it to the owner. He says within minutes he was able to track down Harris online to meet up and return the rings. The two men who met as strangers say they're now lifelong friends. I'm like my new best friend right here, so <laughs> I, 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 I tell him I can never tell, thank him enough, and I, he'll always have a part, part of me and a part of my heart. <laughs> Love it. I did. I loved getting the chance to tell this story because how unique is it to I find know. something sit you lost six oh, years ago? Right. Never thought you'd see it again. And have and a stranger I, find it. Yes. Well, and I bet he's not worn rings to a Mardi Gras parade when he's throwing anymore, right? Oh, no. Yeah. And he says he won't be taking these off anytime soon. <laughs> I don't blame him. Thanks, Ariel. Uh, thanks, Ariel.